How's it going, bros, dudes and dudettes, guys and gals? That was a terrible intro, I'm very sorry. Today we're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby because if you haven't seen my streams where I've mentioned this, I just don't feel like I can really make an interesting video out of Animal Crossing since I've pretty much finished my town, everything's all developed up and I don't want to like delete the town and start again. So. Instead, today, we're gonna play Pokemon Omega Ruby. I kinda- I just like forgot that I had this game, and then I went and got, um, po Pokemon Sun, and I finished that, and then I've just realized, wait, I completely missed the other game. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. I wasn't waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon! <laughs> okay, my name is Birch, but everyone here calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. Where am I? Am I in like a truck? I'm in a truck. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at the time, playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling, but just close, we don't pay everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. That's a cool, that's a cool big boy. I do research to try and unravel this Pokemon, but, okay. It's a bit too vast for me, but that, okay, that's fine. You do you, Birch, Professor, Pokemon Professor. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Come on, Pokemon. That's not very PC of you. Do you just assume my gender? Do you just assume that I'm a, only a boy or a girl? There's more than two genders. I'm a boy. Give me your name, too. What should I tell them my name is? Shall I just- shall I prank them? I'm gonna prank the whole of Pokemon. I'm gonna prank the whole Pokemon game right now. J. Trump. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. I was born ready. Your very own adventures are now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I'll expect we'll be meeting soon. I'll see you there. It's a bit speedy. This game is for like six plus year olds. I don't think a six year old is gonna be reading that fast, buddy. So here we are, here's Donald J. Trump. I'm gonna start my Pokemon adventure. I'm gonna deport all the Pokemon. Already just like, Looking at this, the graphics on this, it's so much different from Pokemon Sun, even though it's just like one game apart. Was it rough riding the back of Bumpy Moving Truck? Yes, it was. Why did they put me in the back of the truck like some kind of luggage, piece of furniture? I look like a mad broccoli assassin. Yeah, I got my hair cut, if you hadn't noticed. I'm gonna kind of just hide it out of frame. Come on, let's go inside with this random lady! that collected me out the back of a strange truck. The moving company's Pokemon even helped with unpacking cleanup. Really moving dang chimpy. Gwah, gwah, gwah. Nice to meet you. Quack quack quack. Thank you. Quack quack quack. Yep, I agree. You should go uh, and see your room upstairs, Donald J. Trump. Uh, Dad even bought a clock to help celebrate. So this is my mum. Yeah, they always have your parents at the start. What am I saying? Oh, oh, who's this? It's a Snorlax doll. I actually want that. Wait, he put up a new clock. Got to set the time. What time is it? Eleven twenty-five a.m. Did I do it? Okay. Oh, eleven twenty-four. All right, that'll do. Oh, and you should make sure everything's all on your desk. Okay. Donald Trump's notebook is full of adventures he jotted down. Adventure rule number one. Open the, oh, this is where I learn how to use the freaking game. No, I got it. I didn't have to. <laughs> Anyone play Pokemon Sun and you were just like mashing the A button when um, freaking, what's his name? Um. The, the kid was talking to you. There was at one point where he said, where he said like, uh, can I ask you a question? I was like, and he said like, you were mashing the A button and you said, yeah. And he said, I'm not even finished the question yet. I felt so bad. I felt like I just made fun of him. Well, dad's friends lived in town. Professor Birch, I've met that 
boy. He lives right next door. Oh, great. Pokemon professor lives right next door. Let's go and pay him a visit. Is this him? That is not him. And you are? Oh, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting naming him that now. Who is this? Oh, there's always like a weird love interest in these games. I'm tired of all this heteronormativity. Get these hets out of my face. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Huh? Who are you? I'm Donald Trump. Everyone knows me. <laughs> yeah, my move was today. Yes, I'm um, nice to meet you, May. Well, I was hoping you could be nice. It'd be nice. If we could be friends. That's just silly, isn't it? Yeah, Donald Trump being nice and friends with people. That is silly, silly, silly. He he. Oh, this is going to be Melania. She looks, she has the, the blonde hair, kind of. Do I really have to make this political? I shouldn't have named him Donald Trump. What do you, what do you got in the fridge? Come on, boys gotta eat. I wasn't even listening to what she said. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Just checking that my mic is recording. It, it, it is, it's fine. I guess we go up here. Oh, hey, little lady. What should I do? We should, someone was screaming. Yeah, I want to go help. Oh God, Melania has got herself into some trouble. No, what the hell? <laughs> okay, all this geezer. Yeah, I'll help you out. There's some pokeballs in the bag. I'ma get. I'ma snatch those right up, son. Oh, this is where I choose. Oh. Oh, I always go with the fire type. Except for in Sun, I chose uh, Rowlet. Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna look up their evolutions, see what looks what looks coolest. I, I don't know. I just go off whether they look cool. <laughs> I might just get Skeptile because it sounds like Skepta. And that'll be a bit of a meme. I'm always down for some memes, guys. I want Skepta. Trust me, daddy. Right, I've chosen, I've chosen Trico. He will eventually become Skepta. I don't know if this was a good idea for the Pokemon I'm battling now, but uh, I, don't, I want Skepta, so that's the way it's got to be. Pound that sucker! <laughs> Some smack ham! Phew! Where's Tall Grass Survey? Well, Pokemon, it suddenly jumped. You saved, you saved my hide. Thanks a lot. What's a hide? Is that like his ass? I saved your ass, big boy. This isn't a place for a chat though, come along to my lab. We're going to long, along to the strange man's lab, lab, where he's gonna show me his hide. He's gonna show me his hiney. I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, it's quite performance back there. I literally just click buttons. Oh yes, say thank you for resting me up there. How about I give you the Pokemon you used earlier? Thank you, buddy. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to to that Trico? I'm gonna call it Skepta. I think that's a, I don't I don't listen to Grime. My girl May happens to be on Route 103 right now. Might not be a bad idea if you did way head out there yourself. What do you think? Yes, please. Great. I'm sure May will be happy to hear that too. She, uh, she can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay. I'm off to see Melania, my bae. I didn't tell you guys in a video, I told I told the, my stream peeps, my stream folks. I can't believe I just said peeps. Ah, uh, I, I hate my, myself. I had a really weird dream and it was, <laughs> in it I was at the inauguration for, um, you, you know, the presidential inauguration. And it was in like a like a venue for like where you'd see a band. So it had like the plasticky floors and um, the metal barriers at front. Me and my dad were at the front by the barriers. And so was Melania Trump. She wasn't even up on stage. She was just, she was in the audience and she was next to us. And Trump was like thanking a bunch of people and he didn't thank her. And so me and dad were like, oh damn, that's shady. And we looked at her and she was like getting all teary and she was choking up a bit and so she just stormed out of the room and eventually she came back and I was like dad you need to go and ask if she's okay and and um 
so he went and asked if she'd okay, she was okay, and she just like, I, I couldn't hear what they were saying, they were like over across the room a bit, and she was just like opening up to him and stuff. And then dad went off to like call her a taxi to take her home or something, and then battle me boy. And then he went off, dad went off to get a taxi, and I went over to her and asked if she was okay. She like started bawling and hugged me and she was like, me and Donald are in such a loveless relationship. He hasn't held my hand in 25 years. <laughs> and I was like, Gosh, it's okay, it's okay. I always knew you were better than him. And <laughs> I don't know why this happened to me. So I was comforting Melania and she was just like sobbing into my shoulder. Donald was going on about something on stage. Yeah, and then we took Melania back to like some house. And then she gave me three hundred thousand pounds as like a thank you, and but it was in like the form of a brick, like as if the brick was like a check. So she was like, "Just go to the bank and cash this brick, and you'll get thirty thousand pounds." So, yeah, that was my dream. It was especially weird when I woke up the next day or like two days later, and there was a bunch of tweets, like a conspiracy. I don't even know if it's a conspiracy or if it's like actually proven but that like Melania was actually in a loveless relationship with him and like she was like looking so miserable in all these pictures and I was like I've been summoned she came to me in my dreams we must help her so there you go um yeah I was summoned by Melania Trump in my dreams I don't know what this piece of hair is doing right now I don't know if I want to do that or stick up sometimes I say if my hair's gonna be a mess make it as messy as possible. And now I look like a flame. Right, I'm, I'm just using pound because the other two, I, I think absorb just like absorb some of your HP or something. It's, I don't think it's like a actual, like it will do any damage. So I gotta wait until I can learn some new uh, moves. I wanna be a freaking beast. Who's this little man's? Hi there, I work at the Pokemon. From what I can see, you're a no novice snowvice trainer, am I right? Okay. Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm gonna give you some useful advice. That is very kind-hearted uh, of you. You're gonna tell me to come and shop at your store? We sell a variety of goods. Yeah, essentially you're gonna just freaking... Oh, he's gonna give me some potions. Thanks, buddy. This is the Pokemon Center. Okay. Yep, yep, I know, I know. If you guys don't know what a Pokemon Center is, you can go there and heal up your Pokemon if they get hurt in the when you're battling. Yeah, this already looks so different. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like more pixely, but like something about this game is so different to Pokemon Sun. Like it seems so much older and it's not even that much older. Maybe a couple years, am I going this way? Ah, wait, don't wonder. Rare Pokemon Prince. I want to catch the rare Pokemon. You can hog them all to yourself, big boy. I know it's like good experience to to battle um, Pokemon in the grass, but like eventually it gets a bit tiring. Also, I only have Pound to use, so I only got my Smack Cam move to use. So I'm uh, I'm opening my PR box very soon, guys. I've Oh, there's Melania. I'm gonna check on her later. I wanna go over here. Um, actually, okay, there's nothing there. That's fine. So I'm opening my PO box very soon. Um, I just need to get a scan of my passport as, like, proof of identification. Um, so I'm just waiting on that, and I should be getting that today. And once I've gotten that, I will head down to the shop and I will get my P.O. box. I'm opening it for six months, um, so yeah, send send in the mail you've been asking to send me. I'll have so much fun opening. I'll do mail vlogs, mail time with Smosh. Oh, jeez, I'm challenged by Melania. Level five, man, I'm level six. You're not even on my level, man. Smack him. I'll slap you up. Trust me, daddy. So yeah, I'm probably going to be opening up my 
oh, oh, oh. I'm probably going to be opening up my PO box today. So, um, check the description of this video. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Um, Skepta fainted. So check the description of this video if I've opened it by the time I post this. I'm sure I will have. Um, I'll put uh, there'll be my PO box address in the description, and you can start sending um, sending your letters and stuff, and your drawings and uh, everything and stuff. I'm so excited to see what you guys have for me. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna be having it open for six months. If I decide that I'd like to open it for longer, I'll add another six months. I'll let you know. But I'm only paying for six months up front right now. I'm not planning on having it open like forever. Maybe like a year. Cause, you know, eventually it gets it gets tired and I'd I just I'll just have a pile of letters in my house that I won't really know what to do. I actually got my first fan mail. I wanna show you. I'm really sorry I didn't get I don't think I got the name of this girl. There's someone at my school who whose sister wanted to give me this she found out i went to the same school as her big sister i hope she doesn't mind me showing it in the video um and i she gave me this awesome drawing that's so cool and a little note that i'll, I'll keep to myself i don't know if she wants that shared but yeah if you're watching this i'm really sorry i didn't get your name but thank you so much for Taking the time to draw that amazing picture. If you're wanting to send me something, I mean, you, I absolutely, you do not have to send me anything at all. But if you really want to, I have a Pokemon card collection. So, just saying. Right, we're gonna frick up this wing girl. All right, back at it again. Challenge me. I forgot that I had potions, so I'm I can use that. I don't see why I didn't do that before. What will Skepta do? Pound that bird. Pound that bird in the ass. Got him. I guess I better be back to the lab. Okay, see you later. Am I supposed to go back to the lab with her? Or can I go and see these rare Pokemon now? Nope. You're not even going in there. You're just freaking- you're just freaking staring into there. Wait until I finish sketching them, we'll go and sketch them, man! This is the lab, isn't it? <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> He's so freaking creepy! So I hear you beat May on your first try. Nah, that's- no, it was my second try, but thanks. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she's pretty long history as a trainer already. She had like a level 5 Torchic. It's a high tech day. Yeah, I know. Then my girl May takes hers with everywhere she goes. She has rare 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 Pokemon data. People mean you've got a Pokedex too. That's great. Just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Pokeballs. Thank you. I guess it is good that each game that they make, they kind of explain it all again for like anyone new to the game. So, where am I off to? I'm gonna go catch some more Pokemans. Can you leave me alone? Oh, mum. Uh, hi mum, I love you. Thanks for... Thanks for stopping by. How come you never see the father? It's always the mum. I've got like a deadbeat dad in these games. Can I just like have a moment to myself? <laughs> I'm freaking getting called every two seconds. You should use the Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching. I will, that's what I was planning on doing before you interrupted me, but it's fine. No, please leave me alone. Come on. <laughs> you freaking get out of my way. Wormpool. I'm gonna catch you, Wormpool. I'm gonna get you. Oh, you got me. My speed fell. Psych. Get memed on. One, two, three, snap. Got him! Okay, now can I freaking proceed to the next stage in my adventure? Donald loves to have adventures. Oh, I can go in here now. Thanks. You finished with your rare Pokemon prints, finally. Challenged by youngster Calvin. <laughs> uh... Oh, this is my chance. Tip. Toe. Tip down by the window, 
By the window. <laughs> Freaking C dot. That's one rare Pokemon right there. <laughs> Bro fist. <laughs> the good thing about the new about the sun, Pokemon Sun, is I don't I think it's a new thing. I haven't seen it in any of the other games I played. But it actually tells you once you've fought a Pokemon, it it tells you what moves are effective on it. So like you learn the more Pokemon you battle. Which I think is really good. It's a really good like incentive to catch more Pokemon. I ordered the Sun and Moon uh, booster box. I ordered a box of cards for a, a stupid amount of money. I'm really stupid. I should not. I should not have bought it, but I did. And but I'm very. Wait, what did I just do? I just gave it a Pokeball. I don't need. I meant to give it a potion. So yeah, I've got these. Um, I've got these cards coming, and hopefully I'll do some kind of um, video with them. I might do like a pack versus pack, Max Mofo Pokemon style. That just looks so much fun and I want to try it out with a friend. I just, I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon. In primary school we used to play Pokemon all the time but we'd like mix the Pokemon cards with um, like Top Trump's cards and Doctor Who cards and kind of it, we'd trade them more than anything, but um, I just remembered that feeling when you, you're you opening a pack of cards and you get that awesome hollow at the back. And I was just inspired to tr give that a go again. I gotta potion this boy up. Cause he gon' die. He gon' die. Oh great, your attack rose. That's, that's excellent, cause I'm about to Slap the life out of you. Get memed. Mm -mm. Leave in, if any of you guys like Pokemon, leave in the comments. What was your first Pokemon game? What was the game that got you into Pokemon? Mine was Pokemon Trainer. Tra no, Pokemon Rangers. I was like addicted to that. I didn't really. I never had like a um, like a Game Boy or anything. There, there were two main like missions I remembered. I remember one. I had to like, this this old lady had lost all of her axolotls, and I had to collect them and 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 take them back to her. And the other one was like, you, there were like all these um, mucks in the sewer, and you had to like battle them, something like that. But that was cool. In in that game, like the Pokemon you had would follow you behind you, and I kind of liked that better than the idea of them in a Pokeball. They should bring that back. I guess rangers are different to trainers in that way, like they don't put them in Pokeballs, they they don't like catch them. I don't remember catching anything in Pokemon Ranger, so yeah, maybe that's why, but that would be cool to see that. Hey! Look, up there! Check them out! What is it? Oh, they're so beautiful! They're not wonky at all! <laughs> they're like... So graceful. Those were beautiful, weren't they? That was that was a good one. That was that was a good joke. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. I wasn't with you. You were. You just keep bothering me when I'm trying to catch my Pokemon. Trying out my dear, and then I guess I'm off. Then let's meet up again sometime. Now I don't know how long this episode has been. I don't know how long I've been going but I think I'll just save it there and I'll see you guys next time when we continue our Omega Ruby adventure. I hope this is more interesting for you guys. I think it's more interesting for me because I have like I guess more things to talk about. So check the description to see my PO box address which I'll hopefully have gotten by the time this video goes out um, and then send me some presents if you want to. I'm really excited to start receiving your mail and I feel like a real YouTuber now. Bye bye now, I'll see you in the next one.